Hey everyone, how's it going? I just finished making a simple drawing app using vanilla JavaScript. You'll see we have three colors to pick from here. So let's start with black. And you'll see we're able to just draw. We could give it green eyes if we want. Maybe a red mouth. Let's go back to black for the body. Now I am no artist. I'm only a programmer. So I'm sorry that this looks so bad, but this is what we have. We can draw something and we can clear it out if we don't like it. Of course, if you want to, you could always add more colors. Just watch the code and see how I do it and then change it around a little bit, customize it. But if you want to see how I create this, stick around and find out. All right, so to not waste time, I went ahead and created all of the HTML that's needed. The only other thing that's going to be needed is the JavaScript. Now we're going to do the JavaScript together because that's the real bread and butter of this program. That's where all the complicated stuff comes into play. So if I were you, I would just copy this down if you want to follow along with the JavaScript code. If not, that's okay. But I'm going to go through and just explain what this is really quick. So obviously we have a basic HTML page here. If you're not familiar with this stuff, you might want to watch a more beginner-friendly tutorial. I'm not going to be covering that. We have a basic style here, which is going to affect these color change buttons. And as you can see over here, it does. We have a canvas, which is what we're going to be using for drawing. And then we've got one, two, three, four different buttons. And then we just load our JavaScript. Now, in time, these buttons are going to allow us to change color and clear. None of that functionality is built in yet. We're going to build all of it together. So let's get started. Let's go into main.js. And let's write const canvas equals document get element by ID. And we're going to grab the ID of canvas. Again, that's our canvas element here. Next up, we can say canvas height equals window inner height. And let's track 100 so that there's still some room for our buttons to show. Then let's say canvas width equals window inner width. And now we have this whole section as a canvas. Something else we could add to is we could say hashtag canvas border one pixel solid black and now we can really see where our drawing space is all right let's also do this let's subtract 50 from here so that it doesn't go over that looks good next let's say const context equals canvas get context and we're going to get the 2d Let's define two variables, x and y, set them both equal to null. Then let's say context line width equals five and let's say let draw equal false then let's decide the default style is going to be black for us so we're going to say context stroke style equals hashtag zero one zero six zero zero Now let's get our add event listeners going. Let's say window, add event listener, mouse down, event. And we're going to say here draw equals true. Copy this. 
change this up to mouse up, draw will equal false. And then we're going to make a slightly bigger one of these. This one is going to be for mouse move. Now let's make a if statement here. Let's say if prev, let's say if x equals null or y equals null or not draw. Now what we can do here is set the x and the y. So let's say x equals e client x and then y equals e client y and then we can return let's let current x equal e client x and current y equal e client y All right, now let's start our drawing. Let's say context, begin path, context, move to x, y, and then context, line to current x, and current y. And then we can say context stroke. Oh, not stroke style, sorry. Just stroke. Why does that keep doing that? It's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay. Gotta love text editors sometimes. Now you'll see we have a kind of basic drawing, but it's not really working right. This is actually pretty cool. Huh. Maybe I should just leave it. I really like this. I like the way that this draws. That's very cool. All right. But that's not what we want here, because we want to be able to actually draw. So let's say x equals current x, y equals current y. All right, and now we should have a very basic drawing app. You'll see we can draw, and it's working exactly how we'd want it to. I am no artist, but that looks like a good little smiley face. Give it a little stick figure body. There we go. But we have no way to clear it, and we have no way to change colors, which is part of what we want in this program. So let's add that in. Let's start with the clearing. Let's say document, get element by ID, clear, on click, and let's set that equal to a function. Here we can say it's context, clear rect, let's pass 0, 0, and then the canvas width and then the canvas height. Okay, so now clear should clear it all out. Perfect, that's working. Next, let's add in our color changing ability. Now, in order to add that in, what we're gonna be using is all of these classes of color change, and you'll see they all have a background color equal to the style of the color that we're gonna want. So, we're gonna be doing this dynamically. We're gonna say document, Query selector all. We're going to pass in period color change, which is going to select all of those. And then for each one, 
we're going to pass the element. And inside of this function, we're going to say l on click equals a function, console log clicked. And then we're going to say context stroke style equals l style background color. Let's see if this works. Okay, that works perfectly. We can get rid of that console log. We don't even need to debug it at all. So now we have red, we have green, we have black, and we have the ability to clear it all out. That is our whole app. We have a very simple drawing app. As you can see, this kind of stuff is really easy to build using the HTML5 canvas element in JavaScript. It's really awesome that we have this. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and let me know. And if you want to see more content just like this, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.